You're right. This shit ain't real. You're dead. Dabbing in power, peeps. There was a leaked video, and a lot of people are saying that it is ghosts in episode 11 of Power Season 6. We're going to break it down, check it out, and I'm going to give you my thoughts and let you know what the fans are saying because I'm always trying to figure out how to get you all involved as script writers to power, and we're going to do it right now. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications so when I drop videos, you all get them. Please be sure to follow me in all my social media links. Check me out on Instagram. Check me out at the Life Games Facebook fan page. If you are a cord cutter looking to get some free streams to the end of the year, check the first link in my video description. For those of you that give me some of the best comments, I'm still giving away a power t-shirt. And if you want to just buy one, the link is in the description. Let's take a look at this clip. I'm sorry for the way things turned out. Oh, not as sorry as you're gonna be. Tariq is in real trouble. Circumstances have changed, son. Lots of my face is taking care of you. I don't need you, but you need me. I'm leaving you behind. You get everything you want, and I got nothing. Okay, so my first thoughts after watching that clip, I don't think it is for a leak of episode 11. Now, it looks like it could be because you've got Ghost holding a pain bottle. You've got him rubbing his chest as if he had been shot, but it ain't no blood. It ain't no blood on the shirt. There's nothing like that going on. Now, I spent some time going back through power, trying to find an episode where this could be in there. And I didn't have enough time to go through every episode because there's hours of power content, but I didn't find it. Then I'm thinking to myself, Amari Hardwick plays in a lot of movies. Could this be a clip from a movie he's in? And I went through a few of those and I still didn't find that either. But if I had to guess, I would say first impulse, this is him daydreaming sometime previous in Power, but I couldn't find it. However, Power has been doing a lot of things to throw us off. Courtney Kemp has said a lot of contradictory things to throw us off. Let's just pose that this is a legitimate leak, that this is Ghost, he was daydreaming the whole thing, and he's got his pill bottle there, he's, he's just kind of feeling his chest to make sure he wasn't shot. It would go in line with what a lot of you all are saying. So let me read to you all what some of the people have been saying about what they think happened with Ghost in the very last episode. So Tammy Jones, I think he was dreaming because he's been having those dreams throughout the whole entire episode. And even if it wasn't a dream, Tariq shot him. Then cause he was the only one in the building. Okay, so there you have a fan theory thinking that he was daydreaming. That goes in line with what a lot of people are saying. Then I got my man Martin. He says, no one shot Ghost. It was all a dream. He used to read Word Up magazine. Salt and Pepper was Heavy D was in a limousine. That's what he thinks. He was just a dream. And then we go to my man, Barker. Ghost was hallucinating. Angela shooting him as if to call him to reunite with her in the afterlife. Okay, I mean, I like that one, you know, and if that is truly the case, then this so-called leak would highlight those points. Next one, Bay from Houston. She's replying to Sharif. Remember he made the phone call in prison to the dude she's talking about 2-bit, making us think it was to kill Dre, but I think Ghost planned his own shooting unless it was his uncle. Okay, now this is the first time I've heard about the uncle being involved in the shooting, ladies and gentlemen. I would say Bay from Houston definitely don't think it's the uncle. I don't think Power would spin it in that direction. I never thought about him calling 2-bit to shoot him as if it was like a suicide setup. The thing about Ghost is he don't play checkers, he plays chess. And I don't know about that one. I mean, that would be a whole lot to try to tie up in five more episodes, but I'm not gonna say it's wrong because we don't know. If it is, this is the case, then I would say, man, that's a hell of a twist to the story. But why would Ghost wanna frame himself? Or why would Ghost wanna have someone shoot him in the back 
that close to his heart, I'm gonna say probably not on that one. Next thing, snapback trill. Ghost either dreaming he was gonna get shot or he set it up to get shot. He knew it was coming by the look on his face at the end. I honestly think he was daydreaming, but if it's real, it was Ramona. So here we have another fan thinking that Ghost set himself up to get shot. And I want you guys to leave me comments on why you would think Ghost would set himself up to get shot. What would, what would he have to gain from that? I mean, I don't understand anything from this season why Ghost would want to set himself up to get shot when he's about to be governor. Is that for more publicity to better enhance his story? And if he did get shot, why the hell would he want to get shot that close to his chest? Now the daydream theory, I had been off in that one, but I am thinking about making a transition and believing in the daydream theory a little more, just based on what the fans are saying. And uh, Ramona shooting him, a lot of y'all think Ramona did it, but I don't think Ramona would have shot him till she, got some, till she gave up some of them panty draws to Ghost, then she might shoot him after that. Moving right along, Torrance W. Ghost was daydreaming, imagining his ghost ego being killed. Now that's a, a permanent big theory. A lot of people are feeling like Ghost was hallucinating that one persona was dying. The shot was among the others. He went to Ghost, clap Ramona's cheeks. Okay, so, and you see on this particular one, 18 people like that theory. So maybe that's a prevailing theory we might have to analyze and keep looking at. Um, we'll see. Next one, Brick City, my family, Brick City up in New Jersey. Ghost ain't dead. I think he having a premonition again. And as you guys can see, that is the prevailing thought process of what is going on with Ghost in this series. But if there are other things being highlighted, here are some comments that will highlight other issues that are going on with this particular situation. First one being this, M. Williams says, Courtney Kemp said it was Angela's gun that shot Ghost. Who would have had access to Angela's gun? Paz or Cooper Sacks? One of them is the shooter. Well, that would completely debunk the theory that Ghost was hallucinating because one of those people had the gun is Courtney Kemp and Sanders, but I done told y'all, we can't trust Courtney and the crew now. They will do things to throw you off. But if there is a inkling of truth in this, then the whole daydreaming thing about Ghost, we just had to throw it away, man, because the man got shot. It don't mean he's dead, but he did get shot. The next one comes from my big homie, Beverly White. This show is over if Ghost is dead, cause he made the show, so the stars need to cancel the show. Oh my God, I don't know about all that. Now, a lot of people have had that same complaint, that they feel like if Ghost is really and truly dead, this series has no more weight. This series is over. A lot of people are complaining they don't wanna see Tariq be the lead in a spinoff, but I'm here to contend, contest that to say that if the writing is good and the story narrative is good, you can build up to like new characters and find a new dynamic. And the other thing that makes me think that Ghost really did get shot and it wasn't a daydream is this clip right here. Was Ghost daydreaming Rodriguez outside of truth hearing a gunshot? I just don't see that. I think Ghost was legitimately shot. I don't see him having a daydream or a hallucination that Rodriguez was outside hearing him get shot. And I mean, folks, we're just throwing out theories out there. I could be totally wrong about that. It could be a situation where his whole entire daydream also encapsulized Rodriguez standing outside the building. That's the person he think that was gonna catch him. And he really felt like in the daydream that she was the one outside the building to get him. But this is not about me. I wanna hear what you guys think. So leave me all your comments below about if you think that this is a real clip or if this is someone who's seen this clip before in any of his work, maybe a movie, Maybe you can remember this from Power a couple of seasons ago. Let me know what you think. And if you honestly think that this is something that's a leak from 
from episode 11. I don't because Power has been very tight lip about a lot of their things, so I don't think that it's a leak. But leave me all your comments on what you think. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe. Go get yourself that life gain. Be sure to join me on all my social media links. Check me out on Instagram. And if you follow me for my Tesla videos, I will get back to putting those up this week. Me and my wife did a road trip to DC, met a lot of cool people at the Tesla Superchargers, and they've been saying get back to doing those because so many of us are starting to get Teslas. And I will jump right back to putting those videos back up. And until the next sex is hell video, I'll see you.